Hello, hi, it's Ed and me. So, um, I have a few little things to go on. First and foremost, um, this session, there are only two of us actually playing. Um, Draken went to his dad's and forgot he had a game. So, <laughs> yeah, everybody gets to this one. Uh, Bernadette, she had uh, storms in her area, so all the electricity in her house, so you have total blackness. Pfft, couldn't do much there. Uh, Selkath had something come up that he couldn't get out of earlier on and he'd message Mike about it and Jalen came in from work, uh, lay on the couch for five minutes and woke up an hour after the game and I couldn't get a hold of him because he's got issues with his phone. So, it's just me and Kados this entire session, me, Kados and Mike and it's a very tense combat. <laughs> it's, a, it's all combat, it's very tense, asshole blowing kisses tense. So. Um, do enjoy. Uh, there's also this little bit, I, I'm going to sound like I'm underwater for most of this session. Uh, you can see at one point I do remember, I was recording something earlier on and I turned all my filters off and then and I clocked and I'm like, oh, I need to turn these filters back on and then my audio will sound good. Anything under that, I'm going to sound like I'm underwater. I do apologise. Yeah, guys, uh, do enjoy and I'll see you next time. All right, so who wants to give us a recap from the last time? Anybody? Last we were here in the Death House. Me, me, mm -hmm. me, me, me. We without without reading Bernadette's written recap. Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I would never do that. We, I would never do that. See, see, I know. I just fi I just finished editing the last session and uploading it. So <laughs> last Ooh. we were here, we had found a new really wonderful little friend, Mint, and proceeded to head down a set of stairs that we found behind a mirror in the master bedroom. And there we found the bodies of Thorn and Rose, the two weird vampiric children. Um, turns out they went missing because they was dead. Uh, that would have been a great alert to have at the time, but you know, shit happens. We then went into what looked like a kitchen with some stuff in there and found another little hidden door. Went down there and we found this weird and wonderful basement. However, this basement seemed a bit bigger than the house and we progressed through there. We found some odd mouldy beds and a well and some people could even hear odd rhythmic chanting. As we went further down at the well, Selkath took a look and was accosted by some undead. Uh, some of the party were aware of this, some were not. However, they... Good timing. However, they took care of most of that undead, proceeded to look around the little room and found all the beds had little crates. And so, some of the party tried to open the crates, some of them got a little overzealous with the shit in the crates, even though they're supposed to be good people, they're technically robbing people. We'll come back to that later, I'm sure that'll be an important plot point. Uh, someone, not saying who, but definitely the smartest member of the group decided to take things upon themselves and move a little bit forward to try and coax the party into moving. Um, unfortunately, that poor fellow, whoever he is, almost died. Um, mm, there were a yeah. lot more undead to be fought, but the undead were fought and killed. Then, in a, small like room, the room, then in a small room, what could only be described as the stupidest member, found a little cavern area went in and got attacked by a Grick. Um, nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, seemed to notice this. They were all kind of deaf or <laughs> blind on the right side. Um, then went down, after taking a little rest, went down in a little, you know, small narrow area where a fight broke out. However, um, tights in fight spaces, fights in tight spaces are rather hard to get off with a party of six. And so, mm. that's where we left it after vanquishing, I believe it was a further two undead. Yeah, something like that. Alright. Very nice. Uh, that's I, I, can, I can agree. Tights and fight spaces are very difficult. It's actually a really good game to be able to get those tights and fight spaces. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Thetsu. Call it high or low. Oh, let's go... Oh, I don't quite... Let's say hi. Roll me a d100. 
Mindy went hundred. Oh, I actually have said logo, and I got that one, but it's too late now. See, so sorry. Uh, twenty six is the one. And you claim you claimed high. I claimed high. Yes. So for your efforts, instead of getting a, a heroic inspiration, you may take a standard inspiration. Mm. Bro, let's mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You got something fancy? Yeah, actually, I did. Mm. It's a weird fancy. one, and it's definitely gonna it's gonna come in handy. I, I need to ask though, in terms of its wording, Mike, it says twenty four hours. Is that twenty four hours game or twenty four hours played? Mm. I don't know what the card says. Um, so I, it's tough to make. I essentially, to make a real one on. I essentially cannot be dropped below one hit point <laughs> for, oh, for the next hours. 24 hours 24 hours game all right it's a very all right. fitting card for me <laughs> okay so having slayed the grick in the alcove of this small dining hall with scattered bones scattered about the floor the party regroups, finding themselves at a four-way intersection. To the east, a corridor. To the west, a set of stairs. North leading back to the bone-riddled dining hall. And a corridor leading south. Uh, Kato Stetsu... Would you like to decide amongst yourselves who might be the leader of the party tonight? Or is it going to be a free-for-all? I do not care. I think it would be probably easier just to, like, discuss and then agree with yeah. only two people. Because it's going to be, otherwise it's going to be one half the party on one person's side, the other half on the other side, because, hey, presto, right. there's only two people. Yep. So, uh, definitely going to be measured discussions between ourselves. Yeah. Democratic. Uh, uh, trying to remember the word. Uh, Democratic system. <laughs> yeah, that. that. <laughs> remember the hard part, but not the easy part. I'm going to quickly grab my uh, phone charger for this one. This is going to mag safe, but whenever you're ready, Mike, do just change the map. Oh! Yes, one moment. I'm sitting here going, why isn't anybody moving? I have returned. Is my phone sorted? There we go. I'll take her. Blue. Smash that one there, and that gives me that. So, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who just joined? Hello. Hi. I'm just joining to see how well since I can't be there today, and I'm at my dad. Hello. Shalom. Shabbat shalom, Mahavara. How are we doing this fine evening? I thought we said you've been a bit of a That's trans, Corey. That's all trans. Are you joining in, bud? Uh, no, I'm at my dad's, so I can't join. Okay. Are you going to listen so have, in? Yeah, uh, no, I was just popping in to say hi and bless right, you with that amazing night. So, it's okay. I'm going to lay you low tonight, buddy. And, uh, that's who promised that he's going to urinate on your corpse. So I don't know if he's <laughs> friends after this or not. Yeah, but exactly obviously, that, obviously yeah, I'm helping right. with that. We I'm helping with that, obviously. It's not, oh, he's gone. <laughs> wow. Shape back. Don't worry. Didn't take, it, didn't take him long to scoot. All right. 
So, it, yes. What are we going? I don't know. Well, I can't see. Neither can I currently. I'm in a little area or offside. You, you guys don't have vision. No, but I have vision here. Um, there we can. Oh, yeah, I can. I can see. I'm just saying, like, because of where I'm currently situated, I can't really see anything of importance. I can see okay. something over here, though. All right. So allow me. <laughs> uh oh. That does sound this fun. room is festooned with moldy mm -hmm. skeletons that hang from rusty shackles against the walls. Mm -hmm. A wide alcove in the south contains a, oh, actually, east, my apologies, contains a painted wooden statue carved in the likeness of a gaunt, pale faced man wearing a vol voluminous black cloak, his pale left hand resting on the head of a wolf that stands next to him. In his right hand, he holds a smoky gray crystal orb. And chanting mm. can be heard from the west. Okay, so that way is where the champion's coming from. The champion is quite loud. Hmm. Should we check this room? Uh. Yes. Okay. I'm just going to move in to the room slowly. Kados, as you move to your current position, your eyes catch upon slithering shadows moving across the floor. Mm -hmm. Could I try and figure out what those shadows are? You certainly may. Hang on. Uh, da, da, da. Love how Roll20 actually managed to get maps that work for this. Oh, dear God. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, sweet Jesus. That, that's a pretty little thing. Yep, and you see... Not one, not two, but three mm. of, of these would, creatures. Would I have come across these creatures before and like know anything about them? Um, being a fairly new adventurer, you have not crossed paths with them yet, but give me either a, a history or an arcana check. History or Arcana. Whichever one is more advantageous. Mm, plus two to that. Plus, well, both plus two, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll go with Arcana. Ooh. Ooh. Well done. Really? Damn. What can um, I say? I've got so, the power of here running yes. through my veins. Um, you know that these creatures are undead that resemble dark exaggerations of humanoid shadows you know that they mm. reach out to feed on living creatures vitality they can consume any living creature but are specifically drawn to creatures untainted by evil oh, great. Uh, um, we have some in in death, uh, ooh, uh, hang on, let me continue on. A creature that lives a life of goodness and piety consigns its basest impulses and strongest temptations to the darkness where the shadows hunger. 
As a shadow, it drains its victim's strength and physical form. The victim's shadow darkness and begins to move of its own volition. In death, the creature's shadow breaks free, becoming a new undead, hungry for more life to consume. Uh, I'm obviously going to relay all of this information to the rest of the party. Like, these are some bad blokes. Do we want to fuck them up? Do we want to just leave them be? Places is actually going to place his hand on your shoulder and just kind of whispers into your ear. Good luck with that. I'm taking that as a we're not fucking with this. Let's get the fuck out of here then. <laughs> Move on back, Zamar. Step back to where I was. We'll say if we could take them at cool. range. Get me to that far. We could take them at range away from all of this. Mm. Mint, why are you in the walls? Mint's not in the walls. Is just the line is still on this. Probably my browser a bit of pain because that is actually like really slow. Yep. Unless you're Little also seeing like, the big line. Oh, the, yeah, I, I tried to, like, use the line to show where Mint was going, but it just went too far, so I was like, oh, okay, I'm just going to stop that then. Unless we I'm going to shut off the camera. Unless we take them to a bigger room, but... I'm back. Hello again. Hello. Oh. Take them to a bigger room, or we can leave them. It's your choice. What other bigger room is there, really? There's that one with the well, but there isn't really one we found so far. Yeah, it's come to think about that this is rather cramped. It's either a case of we take, we send the uh, close range in to fuck them up while spell cast and stuff hang back and just assist. Or, like, we leave them be. Let's leave them be. If mm. one is dead and undead, and there's all the chanting, maybe taking care of the chanting will take care of the undead. Yeah. That seems like a logical way of thinking. However, which way do we go? Well, South the or... chanting's... The chanting's coming from this way, or the west, over this way, but there's there's two corridors we haven't explored, one that goes towards the south and then starts looping around to the east slightly, and then going back down south, and there's one that goes immediately to the west over here. Given there was a pitfall trap towards the western way, it mm. reckons that there's something they don't want to come that way if you have to go around, so... Let's, uh, let's go around and see what they're hiding. Mm. Okay. I'll take the front of the party again and move around to here. And just start moving forward. All right. You move... Southward. The can't corridor. cut me out. Controller burned out, so I can't move her. Oh, okay. Hang on. I got to give you control of her. One moment. Remember, the greatest thing that you could ever do is a cleric. Spiritual weapon to all the dead. We are currently frozen. That's awesome. Yep, uh, a few a few chaos is um send them up real quick. Nope. I am the whole party. Oh no. 
He's I back! Knew I knew I'd be an excellent leader, and here I am. Some of you may die, and that's a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, that's awesome. That, that is awesome. Way to go, Lord Farquaad. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you with us there, guy? Uh, the Wi-Fi is playing. Really, the Wi-Fi is playing up. <laughs> Ados. Oh, there we go. I have a town. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Becky. Look at her butt. So glad you knew where I was going with this. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Kados, you should have control of Bernadette now. Yeah. Right. Yes, I do. All right. So as the party travels southward, the corridor takes a sharp turn to the east. Kados, you can just tell that you're about to break out into some other opening of sorts. I'm going to round the corner. Ah. Very good. Very good. A chandelier is suspended above a table in the middle of the room. Two high back chairs flank a table which has an empty clay jug and two clay flagons atop it. Iron candlesticks stand, or candlestick holders, stand in two corners, their candles long since melted away. Hmm. Yeah, dinner days are two. Mm, looks to be that way. However, there's uh, six of us. Small portions. You read my mind, that's you. You read my mind. And I'm going to step into the room, kind of like holding my like, sword up, just in case anything pops out of nowhere. All you can hear is the incessant chanting... He is ancient. Hmm, that doesn't sound ominous. I'm going to move up to here, and then, like, round here, to just start guarding this, as all this entrance as everyone else comes into the room. Well, I just realized the noise in Serenscape has been saying he is ancient. He is no, the I, land. I don't, uh... I don't like noise while I'm playing, so I don't use it, personally. you tell me that when it's... I put on dino combat music, you're just sitting there like, nope. Yeah, I, I can't focus on other people's voices. It fucks my head. What the uh, Kados, from your vantage point... You see that towards the west is some sort of bedchamber. To the southeast is a door. Mm. What was that last part? To the, to the uh, southeast is a door. Okay. Mm. So, do we go... To the west, or do we go through this door that probably leads back to the room that we were just in, with the shadows? If we can guess roughly where this room door goes, I'm going to smack it a little. But we have no idea what's through there. Um, that's so? Yeah. You smack the door? Again, I've been on... You know how oh, you put yeah. your hand... Not like, you know, like, bang, 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 and I put my hand on it, you know, pat, pat. Oh, no. I, I, I love it. You you knocked on the door. Knock, knock. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Who's there, mother, go, mother, go. mother, fucker? As you, as you do that, Chaos is just going to, like, put his face in his hand and he goes, Ah. Just sighs. Just sighs. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, <laughs> I, was, I was expecting tons of shadows, but instead it's a fucking mimic. <laughs> exactly. You're welcome. Oh, it's uh, actively better. <laughs> Uh-huh. I'm gonna kill uh-huh. myself. I'm gonna uh-huh. kill myself. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I swear um, to God, I'm gonna kill myself. You, my friend, um, it's going to make a surprise attack as it looks just like a fucking door. So this, wow. really? this, this attack will be made with um, advantage. Please, someone shoot silvery barbs. <laughs> Oh, someone shed oh, silvery barbs, please. No. Oh, oh, no. I'm sorry. I don't know if I, anyone has silver barbs. <laughs> I am not doing health. You know, um, this is why I don't want to fuck with the mimic. How was I supposed to know it was a mimic? You should have guessed. Yep, that's on me. <laughs> So, you take 12 points of bludgeoning damage, Thetsu, and you are adhered and effectively grappled. Your check to escape this grapple has disadvantage with the DC 13. And it is this point, I think, now's a good time. Let's start some initiative. Noise. Oh, why is it telling me the tracker is working? Like that. Well, I'll take that number. We won't take that one. That uh, fifteen. That's the track and Bernadette Selkath. That fifteen is for Selkath. I don't know why the ghoul is in there. Let's see that. Twenty for Bernadette. Selkath fifteen. Uh, myself, I actually got a 7.1. And then it, uh, a solo, but it would manually change this tracker if need be for the safety of it. And that 20 for Mint. And how in the. F- I'm still doing GM rolls. How do I roll this? Oh, Mint. A, um, Mint is doing GM rolls. Why? That's all right. 6 for Draken. Uh, Let me know when everyone has their knit in, and we'll make this a descending fucking order. Six people in, uh, Mimic makes seven, so I think we are good. That's a 7.13, mm-hmm. yep. Draken six, yep. Selka 15, Selka 15, yep. We are good to go. Get that fucking music going, sir. Yep. Alright, let, get- let me get the battle going. Are you ready? Are you ready to rumble? Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's get ready to rumble. You see Thetsu <laughs> kind of like knock on the door, and this purple tongue shoots from the door, smacks him over the top of the head, and sticks to his skull. Kind of like pulling him towards the door, as the as the as Thetsu screams out, "Mimic!" It is your turn. Uh, well, I'm going to just immediately step in front here, and okay. in classic fashion, as I would do, uh, pull out my uh. Oh wait, now I've already got it out. Take my uh, trusty great sword and. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. When it wants to work. Here comes the great sword. There we go. A Whoa. mighty slash. Uh, I gotta move to this layer here. Your attack hits. Dealing nice. eight points of violent slashing damage. Do I have any spell stats? No, I do not. I have zero. So I'm not going to add anything else on. Unfortunately. And then uh, I'm just going to take the attack of opportunity and step back. Out of the way so other people can attack. 
Kados, you begin to step back with both hands on your greatsword, and it does not want to make the trip across the room with you. It has been adhered to this odd-shaped door with a purple tongue. Do you let go of your sword to continue your movement? Could I try and pull my sword forcefully? Oh, let's see here. I will give you, as your bonus action, a chance to bring your great sword with you. I need a DC 13 strength check at disadvantage. Okay, okay. Nope, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it, boy. Okay, well, I'm. Yes, I'm stuck over here right, now. You're not gonna leave without your sword, I take it? Nope. I, I, I kind of wanna, like, hold on to that, you know, just in case. Yeah, no, I totally get it. Uh, kindly click EOT. Uh, there we go. Alright. Okay, so, Mint is going to fly as high as uh, possible to get advantage okay. over uh, Kados' head. And then, you're going to pull out their hand axe and yeet it at this thing. Alright. Give it the business, Minty Mint. Oh, a 15 also hits. Oh, I love it. Lovely damage. We're loving this damage. We are loving it. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it, lad. That's before the other This door begins to ooze purple blood down. It begins to pull out and spread across the floor. As did you, you hucked the great axe, did you? Yeah, I saw it. All right. The great axe is now buried in the mimic. Is there anything else, Minty Mint? Uh, unfortunately not. All right. That's time. Uh, let me just do uh, it. All right. Yeah. There's a ton of things I want to do. However, I'm now realizing that I am undertaking three separate people's jobs. The first job, that of Thetsu, the player, myself. The second one, that of Draken, so I need to be a bit of a cunt. The third mm -hmm. one, that of Alpha, aka the note taker, so. <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, there, you can never say that there's, I don't do the there, work. There is no clock tonight. Oh, thank goodness, because... Take, take your time, my brother. We're on session four, five, four, five, six. I remember I joked that, haha, how can those people still be in the death house after five sessions? Here we are, session six. <laughs> uh, let's see, how did this go? Um, my, my other group? Spent nine sessions in the death house. Chaos finds room. Uh, room has dead bodies and shadows locking about. Uh, oh. and there was something about a ball. Get to that later. Went south. Found room with two uh, two tankards. Candle. Door to the south uh, east. Looks like connects to the room with shadows. That so touches door. Fucking mimic. Initiative, and then I'll just quickly, for my own benefit here, on the safety of it, uh, 
Let's go take a photo of the initiative order. I don't really care. Then, and we'll leave it like that just now as Selkath rounds the corner, gives the good old excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, coming through. <laughs> sees the mimic and is like, ah, uh, oh dear god. Oh no, what do I do? Uh, what do I do? Can you throw something? <laughs> Fuck it up! Fuck it up! That's who's like, up, help. Kid. Fuck it up, kid. <laughs> Sacred Flame! Uh, I'm not going to push the buttons because it fucks over really, but I need the relative DC-14, uh, I believe it's Dexterity saving throw, from the Whoa. Mimic. The good news is, m Mimics are... Not very dexterous. Well, they're a plus one. No, they're extremely dexterous. No, fails. Max damage off! Nice! Oh, radiant! Oh, Radiant? Radiant. All right, hang on. That's what uh, we just had to see. No, no, uh, not vulnerable to to radiant damage. No man, that's not what we like to see. Touching, okay. hit it with not touching. So cat, hit it with stuff that's so fucking super effective. Um, so really cat, anything else you'd like to do? Uh. How the fuck is he getting no spell slots remaining? That's what I'm thinking. How have I not got any spell slots? Oh. Nothing else he can do. I can't heal anyone. That he is unfortunate. unfortunate. Uh huh. That is EOT, oh. my friend. EOT. EOT. Where's the button? Uh. The scroll up. Uh, um. No. I'll take care of it for you, my friend. Bernadette. Yeah. That's your first. Uh, Bernadette is going to look at uh, that too and send off a healing word. Very nice. Um, uh, using a spell slot. 1D. Obviously. I click the spell name itself because uh, it'll roll the numbers for us. Okay. 1D. Yeah. 4 plus. Whatever. Uh, let me just open up. I'm gonna have to keep burning that sheet open up then. So I can do whatever to on my phone except that. The great sword attack was a hit for. 8. 20 for 8. Oh my goodness, she has a lot of spells. What the hell? So I'm gonna use. Human word if it wants to load. Do it stuff. Uh, what, she's like level 3, ain't you? Ain't we yet? Level 2? Level 2. Uh, slash R 1d4 plus spellcast, plus uh, the, your spellcast ability modifier. Oh, hang on a second, I'm being stupid, I forgot that it, you have to uh, cast it at a level. Yep. Fuck. Six, Masha oh. Allah, sister. So, nice. Thank you very much. That's. Uh, the bonus action. She's yep. only gonna step forward just like here. Yep. Right. Push Kados to the side slightly saying like just like I don't wanna hurt you, sort of thing. And is going to uh use Sacred Flame. The Sacred Flame. Fails nice. miserably. And then it's just going to step out of a mince, like, little square. Oh, yeah. Now oh, the yeah. end of that turn. All right. Uh, end of turn? Yep. Betsu. Uh, sec, I've burned it, use a secret flame on Thetsu for 6 HP. Not so good flame on that, so healing word on that. So yeah, I've got it right here. Uh, then use his sacred flame on mimic. Mimic saves. Setsu, who is grappled by mimic, move the laptop over to the side. Right, as grappled. Ah. 
Only can I take my hand and just smizz that advantage or disadvantage, I forget. If you're trying to break free, it's a DC 13 at disadvantage. But that's also my action, so I might as well try to do damage, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next time so, you know, take that free like, hand and get stuck. I love it. Next time you know, like, just don't get stuck for free. Oh, uh, that hits. And yeah. I'll burn my final key point. Uh, hang on now. Oh, oh no, you have uh, your head is stuck and your dominant hand is stuck. There are two points of contact now with this mimic. So my foot is stuck? You're, you're like... Oh, I'm sorry. You, uh... No, no, you, no, uh head. Yeah, you're, uh... You knocked on the door, and I'll, I'll give it to you. Uh, the mimic stuck its tongue out, latched onto your head. You just did an unarmed strike, so left hand, right hand doesn't matter. That's now stuck to the door, too. Hmm. Congratulations, you hit. But at what cost? <laughs> uh, right, I am um, then, in that case... I'm going to burn a key point for patient defense to dodge as an action, meaning it's advantage attacks if it has any other normal, and if it's normal attacking, then it has disadvantage. And I will... See, I don't see a button for end of turn, mate. I'm going to be honest with you. I see the little chat so, card. Yeah, so in the, in the chat bubble, you see, uh, it says, that's two, it's now your turn in purple. Yep. And on the left it says P-O-T, and at the right it says E-O-T. Ah, it's Click. very small, but I got it. Nice. There you Thank go. You. Draken. Uh, unarmed strike. Uh, 16 for 3. And then... Draken. Fetsu, you're the fly on the paper, my friend. I'm the honeypot, mate. <laughs> Walk in, excuse me, pardon me, move to the end of the room, uh, and well, Eldritch Blast. Don't want to send it to chat, I want to do it. Do me, do me. Alright, so, it should be, fuck, it's, Oy. that shouldn't be us. Spell save. You it it just gives it a DC for the sake of it. It doesn't actually. Oh, okay. it's combat. Come on, hand axe, light crossbow, blah blah. Eldritch blast. There we go. Normal roll. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Blast. That is a fifteen for nine. Is it gonna? Boom. More, more. How fucked up this bad boy looking? How fucked up this uh, bad boy looking? Yeah, how, how's it looking so far? Is it looking fucky there? Is it looking fucky? Mike? Yeah. How's it looking? Uh, the creature? Yes. Oh, you guys can't tell? Uh, most of the creature seems to be in, uh, in the wall, so, and then there's also the tokens on top of it, so, not really, no. Yeah. Oh! It's no bueno. Um, this creature is injured. That's fucking Actually, hang on, two seconds. Let me do this. Uh, hang on. We now pause combat for the drunken quick, DM. Quick commercial break. There Brought we Brought to you by Victoria's Secret. Ooh. Brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Yes. Uh, Draken, anything else, sir? Uh... 
new uh, EOT. All right. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> um. Oh, no, looks like the mimic's ending its turn. What a shame. Oh. It's not attacking at us, you know, it loves us too much. You're not the one grappled to a point, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's got my sword. It sees Kados. Oh shit. Standing in front of it, not being the smartest creature monstrosity known to the realm. Oh, yes, I thought all this damage to it. teeth materialize from the door. Oh, and shit. Jaws snap down at your torso. As I said. Oh, shit. Oh, that hits. You take two points of piercing damage and an additional two points of acid damage. So, uh, that would put me to that. Okay. Uh, that there was a 16 for 8. Hang on. Before anybody moves. Hmm. Alright, go ahead. Kados. Okay, so. Yeah. Even though it, like my sword's stuck, could I still, like, saw it to attack it, you know? You're going to have to break it free. And I'll give okay. that to you as a bonus action. Okay, I'm assuming that's the same uh, sort of... Uh, PC-13 strength check uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage, disadvantage, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, Imran? Ah, your sword breaks free! Uh, I'm gonna make you just play at it again. He's <laughs> not the smart thing to do. Here. Oh, nicely done. That's beautiful damage right there. The floor is slick. Uh, not slick. Because it's a mimic. Everything's adhesive. Ah. But pools of purple ichor flood the floor. As this creature is grievously wounded. I'm fuck it up, Kenneth. I can fuck it up. Right, that's the end of my turn, so. Alright, hang on. Uh, Minty Mint, before you go. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. I have no idea. Uh, oh, fuck's sake. A uh, I get up, get it. materializes from nowhere, reaching out. Hellcap. <laughs> it's okay, Tessie, you're okay. Your, be your skin begins to desiccate as you feel your life drain from your body from necrotic damage and your strength score drops by four points doesn't it not force me to attack to do that it just did mm. oh shit i rolled it in secret my my apologies mm. and i didn't notice it but doesn't it not have like some sort of save for the strength to drop no, it just needs to make a successful oh, attack. Oh shit! That does sound good. So that was um, it's uh, what's the hit? Like, what's the damage? Uh, it's uh, rolled a twenty to hit. You take six points of necrotic damage, and your strength score is reduced by four. So, um, it's a strength score is a one d four, and I rolled a four. Ooh. And that now takes us. Does that. where that fits into the equation? Yeah. That's cool. No noosh. No titan. Uh, now, Fresh Mint, it is your turn. Okay. So, uh, Fresh 
in Brimity Mint is going to once again take their hand axe, except this time it's their other hand axe. Aim it at this uh, mimic and throw it. Ooh, that ain't gonna do it. I don't think. Nope. It clangs off the trim of the door, falls to the ground. You can take a bonus action to dodge in and grab it, but moving away may provoke an attack of opportunity. Risk mm. versus reward. Me, I don't think it's worth it, really. So that was just going to be the uh, end of Mint's turn. Alright. Uh, Selkath. I'm going to take away some HP. Uh, please and thank you. I, um... Uh, when mad not take more at the moment. Uh, Mint, Hand Axe, Seven Fields. Uh, we're one hour in, and the DM needs a bathroom break. I'll be right back. Get it, Thank you, Okie Selka. I was going to say it's really bad, but like, shit like this is the only way I can ever use my high school qualification. <laughs> and what's that? Admin. Uh, I feel bad for you. Because, like, admin ain't exactly difficult, you know, it's just a pain in the ass. Uh, there are bits and pieces we have to do for our, our job. Oh, you've done this bit of work? Okay, fill out this form. And it's like, but why though? I've done the work. Y you can see I've done the work. Yeah, but we want you to fill out this form because we've asked you to. So, fill out this form. Okay. I, oh, I was gonna say, I took this photo and put it into fucking the thing and it like fucked over. Yeah. And when I say it fucked over, it somehow managed to, um... It managed to change from... It managed to change the correct orientation. So it turned itself round. So ah, it yes. was back to front, and I'm like, what? Makes sense. Make it make sense. Logic. I, I think we've got this fight, though. I'm, honestly, I reckon we've got it. Is these shadows obviously they're like shadows, you know. I am back. So it's gonna surely they have like some sort of like vulnerability to like something that's light. I forget. I think. Oh wait, 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 wait. Uh are we talking about the shadow? Yeah. I'm Sh I'm shadow, saying how shadow. it's a shadow. I reckon it's probably vulnerable to like some sort of light or something. All right. Well, I remember that you rolled a 19, I believe. Yeah. Your check. So, let me see if I can help you out. Radiant. Uh, it's radiant damage. Nice. Not an end cell cap. That's have a motherfucking field day on this bitch. That's currently how I'm looking right now, by the way. <laughs> Let's have a look, let's have a look, hold on a second. Damn, that, that's pretty attractive, that is. Pretty attractive. Oh, fucking work. Uh, give that is it sexy as shit, dude. Give it uh, a cell calf and cell calf. I, I especially like the uh, stars and bars. Nice, nice touch. Zoom right in. Four. Yep, zoom right in. The stars are fleur de lis, and at the bottom right hand side it says Saint Troll because I have this. Oh, nice. Nice second, let me have a look, let me have a look. Ooh, pretty! I also have two Scotland flags hanging off the side that you don't see. I'll put a photo of that up later. Uh, given that Selkath was going to go ahead and do this with a mimic, however, now 
even though I've got vision from everyone, so it makes it really hard, but I would imagine that Selkath doesn't exactly have the best overall image on the Mimic, given that now that this fucker is right next to him, um, Selkath is gonna Sacred Flame the uh, Shadow, nice. because it's right there, and uh, I mean, this, this guy is like simple weapons, so... Sacred Flame does better, so I need a Dexterity saving throw, DC 14, please. Alright. You want to be careful, because these guys are oh, rather dexterous. Say, I feel like these guys are going to be a little more dexterous. No good! Oh, no, 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 no good! No, 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 that's good. Gonna... Yeah! Max oh, well, that's a double! Double! Eight, 18, oh. What is Vulnerable oh. do? Doesn't it, doesn't it, like, double its damage as well? Yes, it does. And oh, I'm shit. here... You, in one fell swoop, Selkath. Oh, shit. So, shadows have very little health. Good to know. The, the, sa the shadow withers to the ground in a burst of brilliant, holy light. And you have dispatched an undead. There's a notch in your axe there somewhere. Or your mace. Let's do this! <laughs> what the fuck was that? It turns out Joe Swanson. <laughs> <laughs> End of turn, Bernadette. Uh, Bernadette is once again gonna push Chaos out of the way and hit this motherfucking little bitch Wait, with a motherfucking. Who is uh, Bernadette pushing out of the way? Uh, Kados. Not like properly pushing him out of the way, but just like. Ah, moving in, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Move in, yep. move in, don't do what she did last time, just like push him to the side, like, get out of the way so I don't hit you. Uh, and is going to light this motherfucker up with another sacred flame. Ooh. Uh, hang on, just two seconds. Alright, dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. That, the mimic's that's... multiple eyes see Bernadette moving in for the kill shot, prepares itself, and deftly jumps out of the way of this burst of energy. This motherfucker in a wall, how are you jumping out of the way? <laughs> Not bad for a door. <laughs> Tatos is gonna just turn the prize and be like, I guess I can jump to Bernadette. And anything <laughs> else, Bernadette? Uh, and that's gonna be want Bernadette has moved back one at the end of her turn. Alright. Now, before you. Before we move on to Thetsu. Oh, fuck. oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, motherfucker! One, two, three, four, bitch. So we're gonna go in clockwise fashion, starting with one right there. Here comes the D6. One, two, three, mint. four. Minty, mint. Does 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 the uh, mimic count though? It can't, it can't touch the mimic. No, 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 no. <laughs> That'd be funny, though, just... Oh, yes. mimic. oh, no. Mint deftly flutters out of the way from this long spectral grass trying to wrap its shadowy hands around his throat. Oh, so these guys are basically uh, intellect devourers, but for strength. Yes, so... That's it. It is now your turn. Is that shadow gonna miss its turn given it just took it before me? I think that was more of it like surprising us. Uh the shadow had a oh wait a minute. The shadow's six, I'm so I mean I'm I'm happy to Oh no 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 no. I'm sorry, because there's more than one. Oh, <laughs> oh, baby, it's with him. That's about to get his bum bum touched. You know, this is what I really love. Um, 
How about... Hang on. There you uh, go. So, um... Uh, how do I want to play this? How about... Uh, Thetsu, go ahead and take your attack, and I'll make this little bugger right here go after you. You're dead. I'm dead. <laughs> uh, right. Well, shit. Uh, given that I... Oh, there's another one there. Oh, nice. Uh, given that it is the case, I'm here like that. Can't really do so much else. Um, mm. Your head and your hand is stuck. Shadows have a relatively high AC. Oh, buddy, oh, pal, it looks like you need some help there. <laughs> oh, uh, you get no idea how far I am right now. Uh, oh, so, oh, buddy, oh, pal, you look oh. like you need some help. Because I could kill the mimic, but I can't move. Or I could attack the shadows, but I still can't move. But could you kill the mimic? It's low enough that maybe if I rolled max damage or an at 20. I, I honestly don't know what your uh, dice roll is. Uh, I'm, I'm D4. D4 plus one. You have three. one hand and two feet. Yeah. Um, I mean, if if uh, oh, if uh, Bernadette's Never sticks on me, I said the plan was a kill shot. Is that just gonna grab? He's gonna use his body's momentum to try and like kind of run his feet off the wall and just kick the fucker by cell cap right in the face. Uh, nine Damn. misses. Pretty sure nine misses. How would you know that? <laughs> Did you see my type of creature that have a AC higher than nine? Hang on one second. My uh, How would you know that? just just got home. You're not changing, are you? How could you know? Definitely not prior knowledge. You're not like a DM or anything, are you? Shadows have only ever shown up on level one of dungeon manage. <laughs> Damn. I, that was over forty sessions ago now, mate. Nah, that's a that's a that's a lie. You know, we we clearly just fought them last time. You know, I was fighting I was fighting the shadows from the shadow realm. You know. Took me a moment to remember something there. What was that? I can't die. All right, kiddos, <laughs> I'm back. that. <laughs> Where is invincible? All right. Um. So that's who you missed. Is there anything else you'd like to try? You are now like twisted up like a pretzel. So you are now a punching bag. Uh, I think the, sh the shadow. Yeah, but your head and your hand is like stuck to the mimic, and you pushed off the wall and tried to kick the shadow, and you missed. So picture picture your head and your right hand stuck behind you, and you you basically look like you're being bent over by this mimic. Yeah, EOT, my guy, EOT. Uh, all right. Well, the shadow. He's about to put your ass, bitch. Looks at you, and it reaches out to you, and you are oh, grappled. Shit. What is a grappled condition? Fuck, if I remember. I just realized their strength drain takes away one at a time. Uh, oh, you mean strength? Goes, strength? That die. thing I don't fucking have. Exactly, and uh, and uh, if it, the more it takes. The week you get. So, uh, um, grapple. Yep, yep, grapple. You have a zero, zero movement. Yep. But Nothing you can. Else. There's no. There's no advantage. Yeah. So uh, I'm just stuck here, which is Gucci. Yep. And it reaches out its tendrils to you. That's Motherfucker. Oh, I think a fourteen just hits. A fourteen just hits. 
It wants to touch your bum bum. You feel your life force drain from your body. No, What's your... And, and you become even more of a weakling than you once were. Um, uh, did you... Health. Do you have... Did you drop Cellcast strength by four? No. I'll take care of it. Yeah, uh... I dropped Sorry, three. what's your, uh, what's your, uh, strength looking like right now? Um... Whatever it is, minus two. Five. Ooh! That gives you a, uh, minus three, I believe. Yep. Ooh. Uh, so, uh, I see, <laughs> 14 for nine. Can't take many more of those, you're dead. Draken, it is your turn. Sick. Uh, no, uh, as part of the thing for Thetsu as well, I do technically. Um, I do technically take a level of exhaustion. So, uh, disadvantage Ooh. on ability checks. Alright. What's that for? Uh, the inspiration card for the next 24 hours, I can't be dropped to zero hit points. Instead, I drop to one hit points and gain a level of exhaustion. Or is it do right. I gain level one exhaustion? Let me check. Um, Throw that card up there, burn it. I think it's for full 24 hours, how it reads, me. I'll pop it out for you to see. Yep, I got it. Hang on. Does that mean every time you're to be dropped to zero, you Ooh. instead. Alright, so that card should have been played immediately, but no big deal. Oh, fuck, it's um, been played immediately. Yep, but that's okay, because you know we're gonna we're gonna take it twenty four hours, so you've got the next eight sessions. I did, I did bring it up at the beginning of the session though, just to. Yep. No, you totally did. So uh, if you played that immediately, we started playing at five. Uh, uh, we play three hour sessions, so you've got eight eight sessions, including tonight, that you uh, reduced to one. You're not gonna die. But uh, if I read correctly, is that level one or a level of exhaustion? So uh, every time you drop to zero, mm -hmm. uh, that's when you gain your level of exhaustion. Cool. All right. Yes, okay, drop. so don't drop, don't drop to zero very often. Yep. I'm just gonna yeah, keep just a note. Gonna right there. Gonna keep a note of that card for later. I'll pull it from the recording. Uh, yep. Bum bum bum. So Draken. Uh, sh not much to uh, dragon. Uh, this is the one time the Hexblade actually has to do swordy stuff because if I were to cast Eldritch Blast, it would be at disadvantage. Why is that? Uh, there's an enemy creature within five foot of me, so it's not. Uh, it's not if you're attacking the creature. It's if there is a creature that's hostile within five foot, all ranged. Spell attacks, and I believe all range, actual range oh. attacks, are disadvantage. So, um. oh, he hasn't created a fucking thing either. The uh, it's gonna have to be a uh, hand axe. It's gonna unhitches the hand axe. It's gonna throws it into the back as a melee attack. Throws it into the a fucking X file style. If you remember that episode of X Files from back yep. in the day, yep. Mike. Yep. And you're aiming noticed. for. I'm just trying to stick it in the back of this one, you know, like, melee instead of oh. range. The shadow. Even though it doesn't see the attack coming, your aim is not quite as good as it should be. And you just narrowly missed. Come on, Dracon. Room, uh... You meant to be killing this age. And uh, can this motherfucker do anything else? Because you know you, you think he'd maybe have some other bonus action spells. No, he oh. uses this motherfucker unless he's just he's not shouting. Got, and I don't think people. he's got Hexblade's curse. He doesn't. Uh, right. No, nope. Hexblade's curse would allow him to uh, get a, basically crit on a 19 and get health back. But no, uh, EOT. Okay. Oh. Oh, Kados. Damn. This, this shit really bad at work, my shit. 
Oh! oh. oh. I was oh. right. That fucking rocked my fucking ship. Owie! That puts me, I believe, down to one hill. That's 15, ain't it? Yep. Yeah, I got 16. If it wants to, like, let me. You access my characters. There we go. Yeah, let me just take that help. Yeah, fucking hell, I'm on one. I'm about to fuck up this motherfucker. Motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, fuck up. Fuck him up, Kenneth. All right. I'm about to fuck this so, motherfucker. Your sword is still from your last attack. Your sword is still stuck in this mimic. I'm just going to let go of my sword and take the halberd off my back. <laughs> and just swing it at that motherfucker. All right. <laughs> Boom. I I will I will allow it. I'm just I'm gonna bring it up like up and then like down and like a forward like you know like when you have like a katana you're about to take off someone's head. Yes. You bring it up over your head and just swing it down as hard as possible. Looking to separate that vicious looking purple tongue from Fetsu's head. Got it. Exactly. All right. Make uh, it count. Me... Now is not the time for stage fright. Come on. There we go. Oh! oh. Yeah! That's beautiful. You're just bringing it down like, cleaving straight through. It's like... Stop. My brother and my so. Thank you. That motherfucker dead. Yeah. You withdraw. Like you could feel the grip on your hand let go. And this tongue slides down the back of your skull across your bare neck <laughs> and lays out and flops on the ground. As Kato's. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Slain. This vile fucking creature. And, and then you're into her. I'm hanging on. Hanging on. Oh, fuck off, Mike. What? Every time he said hang on, more shadows have appeared. <laughs> he meant it is now your turn. Oh, but before I end my turn, obviously, I'm just gonna like put my hardwood away and pick my sword back up, sort of thing. Um, so you still have the possible. halberd in your hand. Yeah. Your great sword lays on the ground. You've already used your bonus action, so I will not okay. allow you to pick that up. Okay. Uh, Mint's gonna move over, pick up their hand axe, move back to here, and just take a swing at this shadow. Oh, nice, it hits. Nice, rolling that damage. All right. Mint, as your axe slashes through this incorporeal being, its form seems to part, but not completely, as the blade of the axe slices through its body. And although you have damaged it, it is not as solid as a strike as you would have once thought. That sounds like resistance to me. Anything else, Minty Mint? Nope. Okay. Yeah. Click EOT. Hmm. So. So, okay. Don't have to have a word of radiance or something like that. It's multiple. No, he's a burn through all the spell slots. Word of radiance cantrip. Hmm. Uh, no, I don't have that. Uh, gonna uh, be. I'm gonna say. The say because that is Ooh. every creature you can see within range that you decide. 
Kados, I, I like that map. What is that of? I can't quite see it. Can't make it out. What map? Uh, you you posted it earlier. Oh, it's uh, Los Santos. It's Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah. Nice. It's essentially like um. It's just basically more California. That's uh yeah. That's basically the low area. Then you've got a. Uh, this smaller area to the right on it is uh, Sandy Shores. And then you've got Polito Bay in the very, very far corner. It's just like that tiny little lodge. But yeah, so it's basically, it's got your like Hollywood area and all those different bits. So, um, our boy, Selkath, going to take a look at this one here. And he's once again going to go ahead and do a Sacred Flame. Fuck it up, Kenneth. I need a Dex save. Dex save DC-14. It's okay. They're really dexterous. Coming at ya. You got Jack in your cup. Go raise it. Me it beats it. it. Meets it beats it. So yeah. They're gonna cry. Um, Good. Cry yourself to sleep. EOT sleep. to burn it. Sleep. Dirt uh, nap Brian, time! Brian, Dirt nap just gonna time! Look at you, Thetzer, and go, You don't mind me, like, standing next to you for a second, do you? How? But, like, on, like, practically on top of you. For, like, you get what I mean? So could, like, he can move through. Sure. So it just, yeah. So she's gonna move, oh wait, that's fucking me. Move round, so that she's there and oh. use uh, word of radiance on both of these two constitution save all right yep uh one and two one two Ooh. oh brother in christ <laughs> never mind and uh then gonna have to unfortunately take her thing to move back Oh, unfortunate. Yes. One, one attack Didn't think opportunity. About that. Didn't think about that. Oh, misses. Nice. And you rolled the dice and you play. You played it well. EOT. Moving on to yep. Mr. Shadow. Mr. Sandman. Bring me a dream. Make him the cutest lot I've ever seen. <laughs> That's two. Oh. High or low? Hi. So if you win, the attack goes to Selkath? I'm fine with that. Okay. Ah. Oh, Selkath. I've got something for you. Uh, not technically me. Oh, 19 hats. Stokath getting his bum bum touched. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll take the damage. Uh, minus 10. Uh oh. Brother's got to be like on death's door. Oh, yeah. Sel Selkath is not feeling particularly happy right now. Yeah, not happy, Jeffy. His strength. Has dropped from a fourteen oh, to an eight. Fuck. That ain't good. Oh no. <laughs> I'm in danger. What? What? What's the owner about? That's who you are free to move about the country. Uh, you think that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can move. You're choosing not to. I can disengage, but that means I add nothing to the fight. That's the thing. Yeah. If, I, if anything, disengaging could actively bring more harm than good. I mean, I, you... I could walk into a room with more creatures. Unless you like disengage and went to here. Yeah, but I don't have any key points, so I can't like you know bonus action disengage and then smack it in the back. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. 
burnt my last one hoping that I could dis get disadvantage on an attack and it didn't even attack me. Struggles, you know, struggles. What does Setsu know of shadows? Ooh! Besides what has already been shared with the party from Kados? Says that. Are you look are you looking for something Immunities, vulnerabilities, resistances? Do I know anything um, other than what's been shared? So you already know that it's vulnerable to radiant. And the last attack from slashing was not as effective as it should be. Go ahead. Give me a quick arcana or history, and we'll make it a DC 10. Arcana, history, uh, equally as bad on both, but let's go with history and see what I can pull from them ancient tombs. Apparently not much. <laughs> um, your, what has been shared is what you know. Yeah. Right. Uh, all these names. I think the one. Yeah, there. Well, this one here is the one that's taken most hits. So I'm gonna <clears throat> continue up with that shit and proceed to go ahead and try and give it a punch. Knowing full well that it's maybe just that little bit, you know, additional that it may require. I'm gonna put everything I can behind it and just. Whoa. damage. I don't get to your, damage until level three. Your yeah, aim okay. is your aim is true. But again, your fist beats with little to no resistance as what you would expect to be a worthy blow is about half of what it should be. They have some sort of resistance to normal attacks, I'm assuming. Sure. Why aren't the spellcasters fucking doing anything? End of thought. Alright. Because it's not their turn yet. You silly boy. Uh, okay. So, because I want to spread this... Hang on. What's the intelligence? Oh. That time yeah, when you really need that, I really you want are. the psychic lance yeah. now. That O yeah. tells me everything I need to know. Um, Mr. Shadow, not being the brightest bulb on the tree, um, turns its head towards you, Thetsu, as the last creature to hit it. Fuck. And it begins to wrap its hands around your entire body. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> oh shit! So, Bro has one health, one uh, you, strength left. You do not die. You have dropped to zero. You have one. You have one hit point. One level of exhaustion. And your strength drops by four. Bro's on death's door no matter what here. How's this gonna work here? Because technically speaking, if my strength is reduced to zero, I am supposed to just straight die. But this card yeah, that, doesn't let me die. So that card prevents you from dropping to if, zero. If your points. strength not drops strength. to zero, it, it doesn't matter. You're going to die. Uh, that's that's death by something other than dropping to zero hit points, so it can't protect you from that. Fuck! Right. It's a loophole. Shit. What's 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 your strength now, dude? One. One. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> We're gonna defeat these bitches before they can do shit. Um. Soka, go use something useful. Uh, Draken, it is now your turn. Draken, go use something useful. Draken, 
Draken can't do much useful because Draken's kinda... Poopy head. It'd be fucking amazing if the thing attacked Draken, but it hasn't. <laughs> Draken is actively more useful if something attacks it. Oh yeah, I could've hit. Yeah, you know what? Um, right. Bonus action, hex blades curse. This one here in front. All right. And then once again, taking the hand axe and just trying to dig it directly into the fucker's back. All right. So hex blades curse. Help me out. Uh, it allows Draken to crit on a nineteen. If I buzz it, the sheet isn't open. I've got been really slow. I believe it allows him to crit on a 90, I'll post it in chat. Uh, so I did a little bit of a bonus. Yeah, bonus damage rolls against the cursed target. The bonus equals your proficiency bonus. Any attack roll you make against the cursed target is a critical roll hit on a roll of 19 or 20 on the d20. If the cursed target dies, you regain hit points equal to your warlock level plus your charisma modifier. Alright. Very so nice. So that 15, which I, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, 15 would hit and the damage would then be 5 instead. I don't know what that bonus actually is. Uh, if the if uh, his yeah, so uh, proficiency right. bonuses. All right, two, so yeah, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take half of the slashing, but give you the full bonus on the damage from your proficiency bonus. Thank you. Yep. That so. Uh, what's your proficiency bonus? A two? Two. You're chipping away at the stone, my friend. Any damage is good damage, I guess. You? And then, um, so, plus two, four, four, three, two. Right. And then he's going to move this way, so it's technically away from that fucker. That is an attack of opportunity. That is a hellish rebuke. <laughs> I'm talking about like, the caster's not doing it. 14 hits for 8. And a minus 1 on strength. I'll do the strength. Yep, and I will crack off that he hellish rebuke, which is a <laughs> dexterity <laughs> saving throw. DC 13. Yeah. Alright, hang on, let me uh, sort out the strength. <laughs> Come on, roll 20. Oh. Right. Yeah. And DC 13 deck save. Half damage on a save, full damage on a fail. Uh, so the, are they susceptible to... No, it's just radiant. The question oh, is, are they resistance? Even, even worse, resistance? Alright. Resistance oh, to fire too. as well. Oh, poor call. What the fuck is resistance to so much bullshit? <laughs> They're meant to be like one of level one bad guys, and they're resistant to everything. What the fuck? Uh, Anything else, Draken? Why is it? Why is another shadow appeared behind me? Well, it's because your DM is a dick. A shadow saves. Why are they coming for me? Okay. What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? Draken screams Long run. Draken screams run and proceeds to. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, we're gonna move to here. And. EOT to another fucking shadow. Alright. Let us pause for a moment. So, Draken, this room contains a large wooden framed bed, 
with a rotted feather mattress, a wardrobe containing several old robes, a pair of iron candlesticks, and an open crate containing a pile of torches, a leather sack. At the foot of the bed is an unlocked wooden footlocker. And as Draken scans the room, another shadowy, no, long no. taloned hands no. reach out for Kados. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> no, uh, doesn't hit me though. Keen touches. Yeah. Keen touches. I'm expecting another okay, one. Okay, uh, do room. I have something that I could use? Uh, hang on. Could I, do I have something I can use? I'm going to do like, this, and I'm a total dick. Um, hang on. I want oh, to do right. this. Oh, you're going to love this. Good. I don't think I am. How? Shadow, Kados, Thetsu, you both get an attack of opportunity as you see a slinking shadow move across the floor. Please go ahead and make your attacks. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to swing my yellow bird. Both hit. And beautiful. Beautiful. Even with resistance, it's taking that five damage. That's big damage. Big damage. Seven total. Exactly. Rounded. Uh, 13 rounded down. Uh, I gave you six. Yeah, don't know why I read my two bludgeoning and went, yeah, that's two. Let me excuse my stupidity. It's no okay. Kados. I'm then going to uh. So turn around let me help to this one that's just tried to me. This shadow mm. is wavering. Oh okay. So then freshy, I'm going to turn to that freshy, shadow there. Freshy, freshy, fresh. And this one it's is... very shaky. Yep. And this one's looking... Well, I'm assuming, he's... Yeah. Not great, I mean... but a lot better than this dude. Yep. And this one, I'm assuming, is also looking not great, but better than this dude as well. Uh, nope, that one's freshy fresh. That one's freshy fresh as well. Okay, I'm going to turn to the one that's like... About to fucking collapse. <clears throat> and I'm going to do... Another beautiful... Howard attack. You do that, I'm getting the Dungeon Master's guide down hey. real quick. Oh, ha, ha, ha. No! That would have finished him, but you missed. Penis head game. Penis head. Okay, well, uh, that's going to be the uh, end of my turn, I guess. 8 for 11 misses. Uh, 8 for 10 misses. Uh, Mint is going to do something that I keep forgetting to do every single time. And as soon as I find it. What are you looking to do? On my phone. It, what are you looking I'm to do? Using. Is he going to rage? Uh, That's yeah. Thinking. Yeah. Just say you're going to rage. Uh, yeah, let me, I'm just trying to check. I was trying to see if I could check on my phone if they had rages left. Oh, dude. I, they've not raged at all, actually. They've got one rage left. Nice. Alright. Minty is raging. So, that drops down to zero. Uh, and then... So, what's that? How much extra damage are they getting? What's that, like, one? Something like that. Getting yeah, bonus damage to the damage roll that increases you gain levels of two. Yeah, I'm assuming it's probably one. I think it's proficiency bonus, is it not? No, it's rage damage column of the barbarian table. 
I'm barbarian. I don't. I don't have the table. Uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's uh one. Just give me a sec. Got the book here, buddy. Yeah, I'm going off what I remember. Ray so, six. Rage is two. Damage is two. Plus two on your rage damage. Yep. Yeah. Oh, plus two. Yep. So yeah, plus two. And all you, you gotta do is hit. hit. All you gotta this do one? is hit. I'm pretty sure there's Going. a button that you can tick and it gives you additional reach damage on it on the sheet. Well, you'd have to put it, you'd have to click it on, but yeah. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I'll be on the PC sheet, let me see. Just uh, make your attack roll because it's got two health left, so if you hit... Oh, you oh yeah. I say it's done. It's done. Thank you. And then, uh, get into a... Gonna do a lovely... Uh, Boom! And then an ash. All right. Nice job, Mint. Well done, Mint. Doing God's work out here. <laughs> the only one. <laughs> Go Kath and Bernadette, also about to do God's work. Radiant, Radiant. <sighs> yes, that is the uh, end of Mint's turn. Ah, oh, please, Flower God, does he have... He okay, okay, right, right, hold. Kato's, it's Selkath's turn. Duh, what does Selkath know about shadows? Are they undead or aberrations? Does he know that? Um, Selkath being, um, Man of the he's a cleric, correct? Yes. He's well versed in the undead. And these creatures are in fact undead. Oh, alright. Undead. <laughs> I'm going to pray to whatever god he has. And... Oh wait, hold on, what's this one? Uh... Oh, ho, ho. right. He's going to be the most useful fucking cunt ever. I was going to do Channel Divinity Turn Undead. I didn't know he had that one. As an action, present your holy symbol and evoke healing energy that restores a number of hit points equal to five times your cleric level. Choose any Ten. creatures within 30 foot and divide those points among them. So it can restore a creature to no more than half. Alright, so you've got 10 points of healing to hand out. Yeah. So, um... What's his alignment? Good. Tell that much more. Uh, CG healed it good. All right. So I tend towards good on this one. He's looking to keep everybody up. We're gonna keep everybody that's done. So I would say um, doesn't say about not being able to do himself, and that's where things get real fun. Um, so I'm gonna ask you, Mike. Can I? Can he do three? Three. And four, three himself, three sets, so four Kados. I'll I'll let it happen. Cool. Then it kind of brings it forward, the beaming burst of light, and he gives himself a little three for six. He gives Thetsu three for four, and he then gives Kets uh, five total to Kados. So Kados now at five hit points. I've also touched up everyone's hit points for mm. it as well. So is he bzing ding yeah. ding and Ooh, very nice. I have access to everyone's sheet, it's fucking nuts. I probably shouldn't yep. have it, but call me nah. assistant DM. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's fine. That, that's a great play from Selkath. Call it high or low. High. High low. Low? Low. Final answer. Ding ding ding. Let's take a heroic, take a her heroic inspiration. Uh, heroic inspiration. Uh, I can only add it to myself because he's not here. Yep, no, but, but I mean, yes, you're playing him, but 
That was a great play, worthy of inspiration. So, uh, when I die, uh, so careful. Heal people, channel, divinity, preserve, life, and points. Um, three sets of self care. Four to Kados. This man, da -da -da -da. Kill at EOT to Bernadette. Okay. Wounded. Yep. Fresh. Fresh. But uh, as there are two people here that are very low, Bernadette's going to aim to this one and use uh, Sacred Flame. Ooh. The damage sucked on that. Yep. <clears throat> And any damage is good damage. Ails. So. Ails, and because it's radiant. Taking two GMOs. Alright. Anything else, uh, Bernadette? Uh, no, I'll be the end of Bernadette's. Alright. Uh. I've got Selkath and Thetsu as likely targets. Selkath 1 2, Thetsu 3 4. This attack oh. is for Selkath. Praise the Lord! <laughs> <laughs> A 16. Well, mess! No! <laughs> Praise the Lord. And uh, speaking, Jesus. speaking of praising the Lord, uh, so we can look around. Well, uh, <clears throat> disengage. All right. In the time. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna take the attack of opportunity with disengage. Disengage just doesn't get oh. attack of opportunity. Um, but you tried to move through an opponent. Good shit. Now, mind, pull me back, put me back in, chief. Forgot about that one there. That changes everything. That's the whole reason I brought out the dungeon master's guide, actually. <laughs> I know. Uh, Mate. But it's it, it's kind of incorporeal, really. Mm. Right? So how about we do this? Okay, we'll see what you do now. See what I've got here and we'll see what goes on, yeah? How about a... Um, attack of opportunity at disadvantage or a contested strength check? Okay. Will you allow me as a bonus action to overrun the creature? Or try I will, but it's still going to be a uh, contested strength check. Yep. No. So you It's perfectly fine. I will. And your strength is at a one. Oh wait, yeah, no, that is bad. Yep. Keep forgetting about that one there. Uh, yep. It's athletics as well. So yeah, it's going to change my whole tactic then, because I fucking can't do that. Um. Right. Shit on me. Um. Hmm. Really caught me there. I am now essentially fucked. Well, you could move there without a provoking I, an attack of opportunity and chip away at this fellow right here. No, I'll invoke attack of opportunity, mate. All right, because uh, this one here. No, I won't. Uh, I won't let that happen. He's on the other side of a door. Okay. Too hard to reach out. All right, if, you, if that's what you're eleven, then I will move to here. All right, I will then uh, go ahead and make a unarmed strike against them. 
15. That will hit. Four. Uh, so 15 for two. All right. The oak gets cut down one chop at a time. Uh, then we're doing a 15. Uh, yep, yeah. and then two Draken, who it is there. Uh, Draken will go ahead and take the one in front. And we'll... Then... Um... Yeah? Let me interrupt. Uh, you cast, uh, was it Bane? No. Uh, uh what the hell did you... There was a shadow that you bonus actioned. Oh, Draken used Hexblade's curse. All right, can you move that curse as a bonus action? No, however, the one that he cursed... Is dead. Yeah, so he should get some healing back. Thank you very much for reminding me, Mike. Um, uh, we're going to have to scroll up. Zach, just check I'm on the sheet just now. Anyway, Hexblade's curse, uh, any attack you make, but... Target dies, you regain hit points equal to Warlock level plus Charisma modifier. Warlock level 2, Charisma modifier is 3, total of 5 hit points back to give... There we go. Glad we got that sorted out. 14. And then, because I'm in here anyway and it is his turn, he's going to look at the one in front of him, put his hands together and just boom! Eldritch Blast straight out at the one straight in his back. 11 for 9, I believe, is a miss. Misses by the narrowest of margin. <sighs> I get this good speed, I get good speed and cadence, and then it's like, but it's a mess. <laughs> yep. Uh, Draken. I tend not to miss something. I, I get very few misses. Alright. Um. Glass. 11 for 9 miss. EOT to a shadow. Uh, uh, Kato, I don't think that's going to do it, Kato. That, that's going to be a miss. All right. Uh oh. Uh. For fuck's sake. Um, I'm fucked. Okay, I'm fucked. I'm in trouble. I'm done. Game over for me. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed now. All right. So I've got. As much as I would love to just fucking make you squirm, Tetsu. You mean like I've been doing since I've sat here with one strength for the longest time? Two, yeah, no, please. Three, four. We're gonna let the dice gods decide tonight, even though you were the last one to hit it. Ah, right. Jesus. No, not bad at that. Back nope. on it. Kados. Okay. Uh, Kados, we're going to look to the one directly in front of him. And pick his halberd up. Well, not pick it up, but like bring it around again. To bash this motherfucker in the head. Your aim is true. You can see as you bring the halberd down from on high with both hands in a vicious swing. The blade hits the crown of the skull of the shadow. Your halberd slicing completely through this creature, clanging on the stone floor. Sparks scour everywhere. And then both halves of this creature meld back together. So fucking sick. You're not meant to do that. You're meant to fucking die when I hit you. Yeah, we couldn't. But solid, that'll be the end of a solid solid hit though. That'll be the end of a right. my on. Minty mint, you're still raging. Oh minute this one. Yep. I'm gonna do a love you little uh, a boop. Oh, that, ho, ho, ho. that hits. 
But so you, you had, for me. You had that's advantage, do you not, when you rage? Yes, no? Oh, that's the Only point. Only if you I don't choose know. to make it reckless attack. Okay. I'll say that before, that's though. Cool. That's gonna be a 14 amazing. will hit. Uh, make for your oh, level. Oh. Make for your level and make it reckless. <laughs> Two. <laughs> I, 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 I definitely said it was reckless. I definitely said that. <laughs> Two. Plus your proficiency modifier, I believe. Is it? Plus yes. proficiency? For what? Well, on a barbarian, when you are uh, raging, you get a plus two to damage. So I'll give you half on the blade, but I'll give you full damage on the rage. No, it's just plus two. Five total, then? Yeah. Uh, three total. Two plus no. two is seven. Two, ha seven? two, two halved is one. Right. And plus two is minus three. The seven plus four is if you critted. No, so it's seven half. Would be three. Oh, shit, shit. Three. Uh, and then you mm -hmm. said you were giving him full rage, which would make five. All right, there we go. Circle in the drain. Mm. Yeah, that's still good damage, you know. That's still good damage. We'll take it. We'll take it. Anything uh, else, Mint? Mint? Uh, that will be the end of Mint's turn. I fuck you up, Kenny. Here's your target, Cellcath. Let me help you out. So, um. 14 for total of I uh, that's so uh, Can I have a deck save from the shadow please DC being uh, I believe it's there 14 DC 14 Yeah it's there 14 No bueno no, no, no. Good damage. Come on, come on. Oh, oh. Uh, come on. what, what, what did you cast? Secret flame. Oh, so it's radiant. Yep. Wah, wah, wah. Hanging on by a thread. Anything other than a one, you to dispatch that fucking creature. Yep. One to one to one. Yeah. The, the, dice, the dice gods are assholes tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, so can I, uh, can see. Imagine by that fucking spell slot, you. Useless piece. I don't see how he watches. I'm calling his character. You like preserve your spell slots, people. And EOT. Benedette. All it's gonna take is a hit. Okay. Oh, fuck's sake. Me fucking headphones have been unplugged. Oh, Christ right. sakes. I'm the so only we... Scottish person here, y'all. Uh, so uh, I'm going to hmm, aim at this juicy one right there, and oh, save or suck! What's about to happen? Ah, uh, 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 no oh. bueno! I'm gonna kill myself. A mace would have done it. Hmm. Uh, that now will be. Oh, hang on a second. Actually, actually, do I have a bonus? Are action? you trying to say that they're not resistant to bludgeoning? No, but with one hit point, all you got to do is hit. Not oh. Oh. I realized I didn't have my filter on my microphone the whole time, so that's been like, that's going to be really annoying to edit. I don't have any. Uh, what's my bullets? Any uh, 
bonus action to say that's the end of a. Oh, wait, end uh, of that was the Bernadette you see. I was going to ask where this one came from. One, two, three, four, five, six. Going to argue, couldn't it technically not hit mint? All right. Fair Good. enough. One, two, three, four. Really Great so argument. <laughs> well, five. Mint? Mint's <laughs> four. But, uh, what about, uh, five? Mint. It's its own brethren. I like that. I like your thinking. <laughs> Eleven misses. Oh, ho, ho. Beautiful miss. Tetsu. Oh, damn it! Can it, it, it suck him bad? You see another very shimmering, blinking, like, kind of like... Uh, fuzz on a TV back when before we had cable. I know the thing you're on about. I too uh -huh. had a CRT TV. Um, Ooh, cathode roll, ray tube. Used to play that. One one nice pull. As I said, rolls one damage, therefore gets zero. Or nope, min minimum of one. Out. Or minimum. Oh. Of, all you gotta do is hit. Hear me out. Run away. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I have. If I take a hit, regardless of health points, I die. What about, uh. Oh. Yeah, are you, so what are, about, uh. What about, uh. Disengaging? Because by disengaging, you get rid of that one, move into there, right? And then you have to move back, which allows that one to hit you. What do you mean I have to move back? Disengaging, you move five foot away, isn't it? Disengaging is an action, attacking is an action. I have no key points, so I can't bonus action anything. Yeah, but I'm saying you're disengaging is an action, which I'm pretty sure only allows you to move five feet away. I'm disengaging from two creatures, though, so you, it just lets you move, it lets you just move straight away. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, your move is, is that. Do you know what I can do? I don't know. I'm just. I'm just Dis disengaging. Like, disengaging just lets you move. It just straight up, confused. straight up lets you move away. However, I still can help because I forgot. I am still technically a monk. My attacks are still technically dexterity based. So before I disengage, I can bonus action attack, and then try walk away with a disengage. So hey, bonus action attacking. I'm so confused. Because you can only bonus action attack with a weapon that uses dexterity. Monks use dexterity instead oh. of strength for unarmed strikes. So, so you, you can bonus like, act, you can bonus action attack with a dagger. Or just to like all my actions are so dexterity. I'm gonna bonus action attack the one that is very very poor. Okay. Fifteen. That's an issue, I believe, because it I... hits. It hits. Uh, the only problem is, oh, in damage two. Uh, so yeah, uh, so uh, six, six, two. shadow front, and then fifteen for four kills it, and then, and then instead of running that way, he will then bonus action disengage to behind the homey dragon. So then that way, he's still close enough that something comes through, but right now, um, right now breathing is, breathing is dangerous for Thetsu. <laughs> Think about who you're breathing on, boy. So I will move over to Draken. Draken sees the one in front, and what he will do is he will do Warlock shit. Can anybody guess what Warlock shit is? Open blast. Goddamn right. To the one directly yeah, yeah, in front. 
All right. So that's a 15 for five on this one directly in front of him, Mike. That hits, and hang on. Yeah, all right. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Force damage, okay? Force it. Uh, nope, nope, okay, all good. And that's a minus. Uh, roll your damage. Damage is five. I rolled it from the mobile, so it oh, rolls yes, damage yes, as yes, well. Yes, my, my sorry. That's good. All right. Um, bu bu bump. EOT. Yep. Uh, give me a few seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, let me get a can of juice. This is a very long initiative. I hope someone really appreciates what I've done for her. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't taken notes like this in so long. I'm shit at taking notes. Really uncomfortable for you, really quickly. Mm. I'm gonna sit here and drink a pint of milk. Because there's nothing more unsettling than a grown man drinking milk. Mm. Milk is uh, very delicious. No, uh, uh, yeah, I, I've just come to the conclusion that my note taking is so appalling and unreadable to ev anyone that uh there's physically no point in me doing it because i go back to it and then go what the fuck was i writing about <laughs> but i don't write coherent notes i just write down words you should see the notes i have for dungeon of the mad maze there sure but it's it's very much like yeah i've just given up on doing it because i if i cannot understand them you know they're not helpful My notes for you guys and Mad Mage is oh, horrible. <laughs> dumbass one, dumbass two, dumbass three, dumbass four. All of them dead. <laughs> if you disengage and let Bernadette in there, a word of radiance could take care of both of them. Mm. Bad yeah. news, I'm back. You didn't hear our plans, okay. don't lie. Okay. I did, I did not go. hear a goddamn thing. Maybe but, uh, you know, Kados, I got a little something for you right here, buddy. I swear, if it's another fucking shadow. Oh, <laughs> I, I say, I say that that is a no-no touch, and we don't do no-no touches here. <laughs> no, no! Is that a double negative? So it's a yes to the no-no touch? No, yes no-no to touches <laughs> aren't good. Okay. I think that you've just taken... Nine points of necrotic damage. Yeah. And your strength is dropped by two. My beautiful strength. Let me help you out. I'm sorry, you're crying about your strength. You got five hit points, mate. <laughs> I know, I'm down. Oh, fuck. I pressed that one too many times. And... Oh, I love this part. Oh. Which, I need to open up my sheet to actually be able to change it. Okay. Kados drops to the ground. Kados, please kindly whisper me your first death saving throw. Okie dokie, let me just change my, uh, Oh no, no mind, strength's already changed. Mate, can I be honest? Yeah. It's only the two of us. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Make it public, please. He's only gonna get himself up anyway. He's playing the cleric. Fair enough. <laughs> I, 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 I can't change that. I've already done it to a GM oh. I'll, I'll just tell you, it's a nine in the first one. Yeah. Kados begins the left-legged salute to death. 
I've never heard it said that before. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Oh look! Oh look! The uh... The uh... The uh, what's my call it? The cleric has a... Spare the dying can trip! Oh! Which I would love to use if uh, it wasn't a, a touch-based one, because that would then involve meaning that I uh, can't like really do much else. Uh, Mint's turn. So Mint is going to move here. Look at this bad boy and go, I suck you, pennies. That will hit. Oh, baby, triple. That motherfucker dying like a little bit. Uh huh. Um, anything else there, Mint? Uh, Mint is uh ending that time. <clears throat> so, mm -hmm. so cast. Mm -hmm. So cast is in trouble. So cast just lurking there like. Oh, man. Right, Selkath will be Selkath. And that awfully heroic thing I done probably would have worked better here, but. <clears throat> Selkath, knowing the shit that Draken puts him through and how Kados has always helped him, will enter the fray rubbing hands together, knowing that you are the one who's done an awful lot of damage and you scream. Not today, and well... Not today, motherfucker. Get the fuck up! Spare the dying's only gonna... Uh, they're both only gonna stabilize you, unfortunately. Fine, fine. As long as it stabilizes, I, I then don't have to worry about death saves. Death saves go. So you get... Stabilized. Nice. And I'm gonna have to... Um, I have to put the dang on Kados. Stable. Move it over to Bernadette, who can now actually do something. Bernadette is going to quite literally just like push Selkath over to the side to just squeeze through. Stand on top of uh, Kados, pretty much. And just gonna be like, sorry for standing on you, you know, but I kind of gotta, I kind of gotta uh, be here. And be like, oh. Uh, which Not creature you. are you targeting? That's uh, both of them. Both of them. Both of them were the radiance is a ten oh. foot, ten or fifteen foot. Yeah. It's five. Foot, it's five foot uh, thing, and it's any creature I choose within that area. No good. Fuck you, Kenny. And that's uh, radiant. That should be in the spell's Christmas set. Oh my goodness! Each creature that you see within range. So, what's your goodness? <coughs> oh wait, I did not roll a Constitution save for the second one. Oh shit! Fail! 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 fail. Passed. <laughs> Luckily, it's not the one that's coming up next anyway, though, so it's fine. Um, that's the dead one. So we can still get Fetsu and Draken to deal some damage. Come on! No, you can't. We got these. <laughs> no, Draken can. Draken so that was can. that was Saver Suck, okay? Yep. It's a fucking beautiful yep. Saver Suck. Yep. Uh, and it then, is. and then, Bernadette's gonna move one to the right, so she's still technically. Not out of range, and uh, use her last uh, spell slot to use healing word on Kados, giving him seven health. <clears throat> there we go. Uh. 
Alright. That shall be the end of... Hell of a turn! Um, Hell of a turn! Uh, Kados, go ahead and uh, call it high or low. High or low. Low. Should have had them apple bottom jeans. Take a, take a standard inspiration. Great tactical move. Fuck. Where'd that go? Uh, I don't see anything on the map, so I moved. Oh, no, it didn't, it didn't, uh, didn't come on. Have a look. I got exactly the same one as I had last time. <laughs> that's Dude, awesome. That's, that's funny, because, uh, I use it straight away. <laughs> what? I use it straight away. <laughs> With, oh, what? What? Is, what, what's me? what is it? <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah! Roll it it's up. Gonna, going to do that two d six damage. Oh. Two d six for what? Yes. Beautiful. I don't know what this card does. Which one? Uh, hang the one on. you just rolled out. I I oh. I uh. Where does that one come from? Who put that card out on the table? I think that's the one that he accidentally pulled out. Alright, that's gone. Oh, All okay. good. Alright, so I'm going to try to steal your card, uh, Scottish. Just don't let me do it. Okay. So do you want me to say no way then? Yep. Mm hmm. All right. Oh shit! I was trying to minimize that window. No big deal. We'll just keep continuing on. Uh, Bernadette, and uh, that is a hell of a turn. Tetsu, it's now your turn. All right. I have a plan. However, it requires on how you say this goes. Um. So Tetsu is really not wanting to get into this fight anymore. Like he. Can't. He's well aware he's been drained to his limit at this point. Even walking is almost extremely hard. He wants to help Draken though. However, I know that Draken technically cannot see the shadow. However, is Setsu able to give Draken the help action? Then on Draken's turn, which is up next, Draken moved 10 foot to Eldritch Blast the shadow in the doorway with advantage due to the help action. Basically I'm asking how you deal in the help action here. Do they need to be within five foot when the action is taken? Or do they need to be within five foot when given? Alright, so that so you would need to, in my I'm gonna rule on this. Mm -hmm. You need to move here. Okay. To get a to get a line of sight. Right? To guide Draken. Right. Okay. In his in his attack. Right. So, thank you for clarifying. Then what I will do. Other than that, is it'd be like a, like a familiar like swooping in to kind of distract the enemy, which I don't think you want to close in that close. No. So if I were to say stand in this corner, would I still be able to give that assistance? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then, that's so we'll look at Draken kind of nod and shout to him and help give the help action come up this corner and he's gonna start screaming and yep. shouting at the thing over there you daft prick yes draken will rock in providing it providing a shoulder for him to like support his arm on <laughs> fucking sniper material <laughs> yeah. uh well then Hold out the hand, taking a look, starts doing mad Pythagoras, looks at it and goes, hmm, this is very tangent gentle, this is. Hmm. Bro, starting some gang signs. <laughs> What's the cosine of this? Do you know what? Who cares? Fires off Juan Eldritch Blast. Uh, that should be going. Why is it giving the spell a fucking hell? Uh, we'll give the spell. Eldritch Blast. We'll give the Eldritch Blast. Which at advantage is a 24 for 6. 
Cause you kill that motherfucker. Just enough. What? Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the party. Bloodied. Bereft of spells. Drops the last undead creature. And this will end combat. <laughs> it was too fucking close. Uh, we, now, we, we fucked him up, Kenneth. <laughs> are you guys uh, tracking experience points at all? Um, I was going to oh, say, I, I think at the end of this fight, that was what five shadows mimics are worth like what like 450 something like that i mean uh, right. i i let me would firstly personally can i get those uh stat sheets to see the experience myself from the intro bit uh you can look them up but the mimic is 450 right uh, that, are, that is 100 and that's the shadows. Oh, shit. Uh, Dainty shadows. I don't think they're. Mm -hmm. They're 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 nastier than you may think. A shadow is worth. Uh, AC twelve. Fuck! I, was, I thought it was higher than that the whole time. Uh, they are only worth a hundred each. Yeah. So. One, two, three, four. Was that one hundred and fifty? Five. So that's five. That's 950, 950 experience points divided by 6. That's, That's going to be a awkward number. 158.3 rounded down to 158. Make it 159. Okay. <clears throat> so that gives us 459 experience. Oh. Next level up, I don't think, is for quite some time. It's 900. Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. I don't think I gave you guys... Experience points from the last session, did oh, I? The, the other ghouls, no, you didn't. All right, that sounds Let's really snide. That. I'm sorry. No, no, we it's, not snide. it's not snide at all. I don't want to haul wood on you guys. I mean, fuck's sakes. No, the way the way I'm saying it, like, uh, so let's suppose it was all right. So, hang on, ghoul, yeah. Ghouls are yeah, nine hundred. Yeah, that's fourteen hundred for the ghouls. So keep a running total. We got what was it nine fifty plus fourteen hundred, and we had a Grick in there. Okay, a Grick has I think they're like <clears throat> Gricks are four fifty. Are four fifty? Fuck's sake! That's two eight hundred. It's going to be 466.6 right. uh, recurring EXP. Yep. 470. 467 a piece. 467. So that's 300. That's 767. I yeah. think you. You what? Hang on. Uh, level. Level 3 is 900. Yep. And you have uh, what? 764. 767, yeah. Unless you're giving us exploration right, experience. So what, what I'm going to do is I will give you exactly 900. You're going to need to take a long rest before you level up. But you also laid Rose and Thorn to rest. Quest experience. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Best kind. <laughs> well, I was going to say, given all of this, given how we are... Setsu would propose that we all hunger take down. Some, take some time. And open it. How was this room yes. looking? Was was that a? Uh... Oh, it's a um, nice, nice, nice bed. You say yes. is it a defendable area, like one entrance sort of thing? One entrance, yes. yes. Okay, so I say we all pack into there where it's nice and easy to defend. All right, there's a bed, so... but I think we've learned our experiences. 
So yeah, uh, I'm gonna read the um, waiver. Yes, one more time because we we're in the middle of combat the last time. This room contains a large wooden frame bed with a rotted feather mattress, a wardrobe. Oh, I got to get it on the right layer so I can pick it correctly. Containing several old robes. A pair of iron candlesticks. And an open crate. Which is right by Bernadette. So here are the candlesticks. One there. One there. An open crate containing a number of torches. There's a leather sack with a number of foot long stick type objects rattling around inside. And at the foot of the bed is an unlocked wooden foot locker. Let's just leave everything as it is. Mm -hmm. But should you really think it's a smart idea, you being right near the door? No. No, I don't. But I've learned my lesson with pets, too. Okay. I'll take that however you mean that as. Okay. Shuffle on and so uh, do we all? All right. So the party is going to uh, try for a long rest. Oh, he said try. <laughs> now, Kados is happy to stay up for the first walk. Kados, since you are up for the first watch, or. You can pass tits. the dice roll off to Scottish, but I'm going to need a D20. And trust me when I say, you do not want anything higher than a 16. Okay. Be higher than a, high enough to not be bad, but low enough to not be bad. Please, okay. dice gods. Please. It's not higher than 16. The it's party, not my fault. The party enjoys the effect of a long and undisturbed rest. Fuck yeah! <laughs> but, yes. But. Oh, I said um, but. <laughs> the, in, the incessant. He is ancient. He is the land. Echoes. Setsu, head. Setsu hears none of this. He's so exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Selkath. Yes. We need to restore your strength. You restore Thetsu as well, but Thetsu is only... Thetsu would technically just... I know Thetsu is a 7, I've got a printout sheet of him. I think Selkath only took one... One attack, if I'm not mistaken, and it reduced it by, I think, was two? Yep, so he's... Yeah, just... mine was the same. I took one attack, which was two. Alright, so I'm gonna put Selkath back up to ten. I th think potentially. I'm not. I think Draken also took a single hit. I'm not sure we dropped his strength. No, he had to take a hit because. Oh yeah, I don't think he did. No, yeah, he. Yeah, because he took a touch to get the opportunity of attack. So yeah, no, nah, I don't think we touched him up because of that. So we're good. I don't think we. Uh, yep. So. Um. 
this might be a little bit early, but I think this is a good spot to level up and call it. To to yep. level up and call it a night. Uh, yep. I can't open the fucking sheet. Very good idea. So, uh, fuck you, Mike. <laughs> Long that time. was that was a battle and a half. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Uh, if it wants to let me do a long rest. What did we do to deserve that? Breathe? <laughs> Shouldn't have touched that fucking door. <laughs> and, uh, two well, key points. Well, that kind of that kind of was your was your fault. Yeah, that kind of was I your fault. I just gave it that little tappy de tap, like. Uh-huh. Mimics, no, being mimics, no. mimics being other objects, sure. I've only ever came across a mimic being a door one other time. How the fuck is this long rest button not working?